I'm Stephanie, a teacher at Hoffman Academy. Something I get asked a lot, especially by new students, is should I buy an acoustic piano, a digital piano, or a keyboard? This is a big decision, so let's take a look at the key differences that might help you weigh your options. First, let's talk about acoustic pianos. There's nothing quite like the feel and sound and presence of having a real piano in your home. If you do most of your playing in the house and have the space and budget for a piano, I definitely recommend it. There are a few other things to consider when buying an acoustic piano. Even the most compact upright pianos are going to take up a lot of space. If you've got great space for a piano, not only will you have an awesome instrument, you'll establish a gathering place in your home. Keep in mind, it will be much heavier and more difficult to move than a keyboard or a digital piano. There's tuning and maintenance, too. Pianos are acoustic instruments, and they respond to changes in temperature and humidity. If you have a piano, it's a good idea to work with a local piano tuner and help you establish a tuning maintenance schedule. So, what about digital pianos? There's a pretty wide range of digital pianos, and some of them play and sound fantastic. In general, a digital piano will take up less space than an acoustic piano. They will be more portable, and there's usually a headphone jack so you can practice without disturbing others. Modern digital pianos do a good job of replicating the sound of an acoustic piano. Some even let you choose between different types of piano sounds. Still, a digital piano won't get the sound of an acoustic piano absolutely perfect. However, if you're on a budget, need to take your piano with you to gigs, or you don't want to deal with the size and maintenance, compare a few different models of digital pianos. I recommend a model with weighted keys because it will be close to the feel of an acoustic piano. And how about electric keyboards? A beginning student can get a good start on learning piano with an electric keyboard. They are typically less expensive than a digital piano and they come in a variety of sizes. 49 keys, 61 keys, a typical keyboard is 88 keys. Electronic keyboards are the most affordable way to get started, but learning piano on a non-weighted, non-full-sized keyboard is less than ideal and could even be discouraging. I recommend upgrading to an acoustic or digital piano as soon as possible. To review, if your family has the space and budget for an acoustic piano, I really recommend going for it. If not, you'll learn plenty on one of the other models we talked about. To get a full rundown on pianos, digital pianos, and keyboards, as well as specific models that are recommended by Hoffman Academy, check out the link below for our blog post on choosing a piano. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like so we know you want to see more topics like this. We've got a whole team of music teachers answering questions and bringing you awesome lessons and tutorials every week. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. And if you're looking for a complete piano education, click the link to visit HoffmanAcademy.com. See you next time.